Welcome! Today we're going to talk about the Aquastar Benthos 2. I've got two examples to share, a civilian one and one issued to the French Navy, Marine Nationale. Let's start with the civilian example. This watch is from the 1980s and is pretty large with a case size of 44.7 millimeters on the crown. It's 40.3 millimeters at the bezel and has 20 millimeter lugs. This example has a Tissot co-branded dial. When I found both of these Benthos 2 examples, neither had its original bezel. These bezels are pretty unique and hard to find, so I turned to Instagram but had no luck. A few months later, eBay came through and I found a seller that had two original bezels. There's no feeling like finding a rare part. The case is 13.6 millimeters from the top of the glass to the back of the case. The case back of the civilian example has no reference or serial number. I've got these on Barton 20 millimeter straps with quick release spring bars. Here you can see the hooded lug. This model has a uniblock case. To access the movement and change the battery, you unscrew the crown and pull it past the time setting position. There's a split stem design so pulling harder will release the stem. You then remove the bezel, here you can see the click spring, and then unscrew this crystal retaining ring. Lifting the crystal out, you now have access to the movement. Inside you'll find an ESA 952.111 quartz movement. With the movement removed, you can see the uniblock design. Without an opening case back, that's one less area for water to get in, which is important for a watch with a depth rating of 1,000 meters. Just a quick plug for my merch. I have a watchistry.com shop with t-shirts, sweaters, notebooks, hats, books, of course, on Marine National issued watches and vintage ZRC. Go check it out. Next, we'll move to the Marine Nationale issued watch. I've known for many years that an Aquastar was issued to the Marine Nationale, but never found one until recently. Right away you can see some differences over the civilian version, most notably the lack of red text. The civilian version has 1100 meters depth rating, whereas the issued one has 1000 meters depth rating. Interestingly, both mention 3,300 feet. I think these are just standard dial variations and not necessarily indicative of a custom issue for the Marine Nationale. That said, the only other example of a Benthos II issued to the Marine Nationale that I've seen has the same black and white dial as mine. The cases are identical. I believe the civilian one still has its original satin finish and the issued one has been polished. On the case back, you'll note that the position of the Aquastar logo is slightly different. You can also see a serial number on the issued example, 9650. As discussed in my other videos and my book, Marine Nationale, provenance for issued watches is essential. Close examination of the inside of the case reveals watchmaker inscriptions from the Marine Nationale's watchmaker, Yves Pastre. These inscriptions correspond with a service entry in the famed Marine National Register kept by Yves Pastre. The entry for Aquastar 9650 indicates that it was issued to the Gizmer unit of the Marine National. This is a deep sea intervention unit. This is one of their vessels and they have been known to collaborate with Comex. Here's a good look at the bezel with its slotted ends. The hooded lugs of the issued example show a lot of wear. Here it is on the wrist. I also want to give a plug to a great book by Dr. Peter Miller, Aquastar, A Dive Into Time. Lots of details on the Benthos and many other Aquastar examples. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, please be sure to give me a follow.